تمام بدنا نكمل محاضرة الفيروس هيباتايتس we're going to uh, do a little bit of revision of last week's lecture um, uh, just for continuity so هلا المهم انك تعرفه من المحاضرة الأولى انه how to diagnose hepatitis how to know if there is hepatitis and then to know whether it is an infectious or non infectious cause so any hepatitis is characterized by hepatocyte damage um, liver cells are damaged uh, they release the enzymes within them these enzymes are detected by serology so you see the ALT and AST in the blood that tells you that liver cells have been damaged this is for all hepatitis uh, more so for acute hepatitis for uh, an infectious cause you will have either history في history of infection كان تعرض لناس who have similar symptoms كان في عنده أكل أكل مش نظيف in history you can tell إنه شرب مية مش نظيفة أو أخذ blood أو تعرض لنيدل ستيك إنجري أو هيز أنا هيز أ أور سكشوال أكتيفيتي أند سو أون فهذا كله بيساعدك يحكي لك إنه ذيس إز أ أن إنفكشس أور نون إنفكشس كوز حكينا الكوزز اللي هم A B C D and E there are other viruses and bacteria that can cause as well as um, drugs and other immune or uh, other diseases that can cause uh, hepatitis for A أهم شيء حكينا إنه there's only one serotype this is a fecal oral root uh, virus um حكينا risk group مهم كثير risk groups what are the risk groups for um HIV حكينا homosexuals abusers um uh, homeless people people in institutions where um many uh, child care facilities mental health clinics these are uh, common uh, areas where um, or uh, or occupations that can uh, transmit um, HIV. Hello for clinical features. Again, it's subclinical infections. Um, so um, more than ninety percent, if less than uh, five years of age, is very common and acute hepatitis as well. Again, the symptoms. Um, now for diagnosis, again, anti-HIV IgM antibodies can be detected. Um, here we do not worry about chronic forms. Uh, what we really care about is um, shedding and confirmation of the presence of the virus. Um, as we mentioned in the in the previous lecture, most likely the patient will come at the three or uh, before the three or six month mark. So you will be able to detect the anti-HIV IgM antibodies. هاي السلايد المهم فيها إنه the shedding حكينا for HIV is prior symptoms so the 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 patient is shedding before symptoms so you can expect other patients to have to have been transmission will be more likely uh, you have the symptoms luckily you have IgM HIV anti HIV with the symptoms so it should be more straightforward uh, treatment like we mentioned for all uh, Hepatitis, you have to reduce the use of, of liver cells. Uh, avoid alcohol, any drugs that uh, with uh, liver uh, clearance. Now, for uh, fulminant hepatitis, it can happen with HIV, especially with advancing age with or with um, co-infection with HCV. Uh, prevention: There's a vaccine, and we mentioned about the children um, and. Um, is given twice and how it reduces the shedding in children by reducing infection makes makes people who are older more susceptible but uh, the overall numbers will be reduced HBV Hakena Ahamshifi Hakena the service antigen for the more complete variants Hakena um, replication is indicated by HEV the envelope virus the E, vi the e uh, antigen Hakena the incomplete E will be the C or the core antigen uh, from the open reading frame. The core antigen um, is only intracellular. S, E, or C antigens for hepatitis B. Um, epidemiology, 
اتش بي في كثير عالي البريفلنس اكثر ب افريكا او تشاينا هون الريسك مختلف هون الريسك اف يو جيت از وي منشند ذا يونجر يو جيت ذا مور لايكلي تو هاف ا كرونيك انفكشن ذا بروبلم ذا مين بروبلم وذ اتش بي في از كرونيسيتي كرونيك are more likely to advance to liver failure or to hepatocellular carcinoma and it's with, with more so in certain genotypes than others. But this is what we worry about. So infection in children will more likely result in um, uh, chronicity, higher chronicity, ni about 90% rather than in adults. Uh, can the transmission for HBVB, to, uh, sexual, uh, vertical, horizontal, IV, needle stick, So it has a lot of transmission routes. Um, okay, so um, for this, there are, uh, it's not in this slide, but uh, what we try to, to mention here, in you know, for HPV, you have the acute form, which um, if cleared, you will make anti-HPE antigen uh, antibodies, and that will uh, prevent going into chronic form. If you are in the chronic form, there are two forms. You, are either, you either have a replicative uh, form, HPE, lissa mawjood, there is replication for the virus, this is an infectious chronic, or you will have an inactive carrier state. So an inactive, an inactive carrier, you have uh, HPE anti negative with the anti-HPE positive, hey, mawjood bil slide. So uh, uh, you have the chronic, you have the acute form, okay, you have the replicative chronic form, and then you have the acute carrier state. The carrier state is a carrier you have to have ALTs and HPV viral load negative for 12 months before you can tell you know, how the whistle marhala is inactive carrier. So it is not easily determined. يعني مش بسهولة بدك تأكد منها. شو الأشياء اللي بتخلي ال HPV يتطور ويعطيني more uh, more likely to uh, uh, let's say worst outcome اللي حكينا مهمة إنه uh, co-infection with HPV uh, with the D virus with C high DNA levels high replication levels E اللي هو ال E antigen اللي هو بحكي لك ال 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 that denotes replication this um, Uh, more likely denotes uh, complication from failure or carcinoma. Hello, serology. So uh, we said S, Hamshi S, but the amal S antigen. So you have to, to 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 show the presence of the S antigen. But then the amal anticor, you have to amal anticor IgM or anticor IgG. Like IgM with the S, how that become acute HBV. Either IgM S with IgG anticor, how that start chronic. So anti-HPC is predominantly IgM in early infection, in acute. بعدين اللي هلا بحكي عنه بال بالwindow. E is a secretory protein that, like we mentioned, it can be detected in the serum and associated with replication. And anti-HPE maybe like denotes beating the replication of the virus, stopping the replication of the virus once you have anti-HPE. So here in HPV. You have the three forms, the virion form, the core only, or just excess uh, surface antigen. Um, uh, okay, so um, this slide, the important bit about the surface antigen, if you have surface positive, E positive, to highly replicative and reaching uh, full virion forms, or the can S positive, E negative, this is less infectious for the Umm and help from plus it nine plus become more likely to transmit rather than S negative or E negative for E negative. Um, in this slide, it shows you the window here. Uh, I don't know if you can show if you can see. So, this is the window after the surface antigen. The surface antigen, this is an acute form, but it should be detected before the presence of symptoms. If you have the E, you have replication. If you have replication, then you have. DNA replication, then you, you are making proteins. Our protein that we do is the surface, so you can detect that. Uh, you are detecting the surface antigen, you are detecting the anti-core IgM, you have symptoms, and the replication with the E antigen. This is the classic acute form. You have a window once the surface antigen, once anti-E, anti-E, the E antigen 
بلش يوقف so I stopped replication once you stopped replication the surface antigen starts to get declined you, you beat the infection the acute form is finished then you make the anti HPS which is protective هلا بهاي الويندو ايش الوحيد اللي راح يكون عندك بوزيتيف الاس ما في يعني اذا جاك المريض بعد السيمتومز الاس ما في بس ممكن احتمال الانتي كور اونلي سو اي جي جي انتي كور ار جي ام انتي كور از ذا اونلي ثينج ذات يو مايت بي ايبل تو ديتكت ات ذس ان ذس ويندو سو ذس ويل بي ان ان اكيوت فورم نوت ان ا كرونيك فورم ام اوكي سو ذس سلايد از فيري امبورتنت هاي الاكيوت انفكشن اس بوزيتيف ير ان اس انتيجين بوزيتيف الاي انتيجين بوزيتيف Uh, this is an acute infection and then uh, the window only the anti core IgM will be positive uh, vaccinated راح تشوف بس الانتي اتش بي اس لانك انت بتعطيه انتي اتش بي اس هو هذا الاميونوجلوبولين ذا كرونيك اي انتيجين راح يكون موجود with high infectivity شايف high infectivity يعني في اي موجود low infectivity اي مش موجود بس السيرفس موجود فيهم اثنين um, The chronic form again. If you have the E replication, there is DNA, there is surface antigen. حكينا بعد six months موجود the surface معناته في replication. You have after six months E or after three months for the E, after six months with the S. معناته this side هذا أصبح chronic form. إذا صار chronic form, then in a chronic form, what you detect is surface and anti core IgG. This is what you're looking for. So this is the second state اللي هي مش acute. The second اللي هو replicative chronic. هاي هنا replicative chronic في E في S and then anti core. هذا الموجود عندي اللي هو IgG. هلا صار عادة إذا بدو يدخل مرحلة ال 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 inactive carrier you will have another exacerbation with high ALT. بوقف ال antigen E اللي هو replication. بوقفه أنا فزت عليه. So in the anti E. So now I have anti E. I prevented antigen. So what you detect in the inactive carrier is surface بطل فيه ما أنا بطلت أعمل replication بطل فيه surface the only thing they can see is the anti core and um, anti HPE فخلنا نرجع على هاي in the chronic when راحت uh, depends so the low chronic is anti HPE and only uh, maybe maybe plus or minus could be the, the, the surface it depends on when you uh, detect it okay so Uh, everything here, as we mentioned, uh, now to hepatitis C virus, C virus, like uh, uh, like um, you, you've uh, in, in previous um, uh, uh, semester, Hakukun, this is an RNA virus, so this is an envelope uh, protein um, in this virus. The envelope proteins are coded in hypervariable regions. The core proteins are in the conserved regions. شو يعني? That means that the um, outer envelope is more likely to be um, more variable in its composition. The core is not changed, so that helps me if I want to detect. I will make detect H, uh, HCV. I will look for the conserved areas to to make sure that is here. Uh, genotypes. سبعة genotypes. Uh, and each are so they have their own subtypes. Uh, high replication rate, absence of proofreading um, by preliminary results and rapid mutations. So epidemiology: HCV infects 170 million people worldwide. دول القريبة علينا الفيات هذا هو Egypt. كثير في عندهم HCV. It's a huge problem there. So uh, this is something that we need to be aware of. Uh, it بيحكي لك it could be related to reuse of needles and really بيعني إنه استخدام needles مثلاً بت بت China في عندهم acupuncture or folk remedies. هلا transmission this is mainly through needles transfusion injecting drugs nosocomial needle stick injury dialysis أغلبه by needles. Vertical sexual transmission is rare with HCV. فا the picture هنا is someone who has had needle stick injury. Healthcare worker, صار معه blood transfusion شو مكان. هلا 15% with acute infection they clear the virus in between three to to twenty four months. Eighty five percent they develop a chronic infection. So in HCV there is a chronic form. So specific cytotoxic lymphocyte response plays an important role in suppressing the RNA levels. And then there's a broad, يعني a general antibody response to HCV. 
ريزلتس الانفكشن بيعمل زي ما حكينا ان اذر فايروسز باتيك انفلاميشن فايبروسز اند اولسو لايك اتش بي في هلا بنخاف ال اتش تي سي اللي هو السيلولار كارسينوما في البي والسي اكثر الدي طبعا اذا بيجي مع البي So A and E, uh, the fecal oral ones, it is less uh, of, a of a problem. So um, associated with cirrhosis, the same if you have alcohol or in this case, uh, certain HLA types, high levels of viremia, uh, quasi species, and species and the variants, because the envelope has a lot of uh, variants in it. Clinical pictures, 75% of acute hepatitis are non-jaundice, not jaundice. راح يكون عندهم the other symptoms that we mentioned before. Uh, Fulman hepatitis is unusual in Western countries, but it is uh, a problem in Japan. Uh, so chronic hepatitis, 85% of patients uh, will be associated with fatigue, malaise, reduced quality of life. Uh, ALT levels عندهم هدول fluctuate, بس the RNA levels remain fairly constant. فهذا هو بيساعدك في diagnosis إنه هو HCV RNA levels. فممكن تفكر بالاي سي في يعني شيء هايبريد يعني بالدايجنوس تبعه قريب شوي على الاتش بي في يو هاف تو شو ذا ار ان اي ليفلز ثرو ليفريشن اند ذن وي ود شو ذا اذر انتي بادي ذات يو كان لوك فور سو فور سيرولوجي ديتكت انتي بادي تو ريكومبيننت اتش سي في بيبتايد اند اتش سي في ار ان اي سو جينو تايب تيستينج از اسينشال فور تريتمنت سم تايمز فور سيرتن جينو تايبس كان بي Uh, which can respond to different uh, therapies. Uh, acute hepatitis C is confirmed by newly positive HCV RNA PCR, so you have to detect the presence of the HCV RNA. Um, for chronic hepatitis, uh, positive ELISAs can be done and then confirmed with the HCV RNA test. Um, patients with high risk, you can do retest uh, a few months later in case. Only anti HCV and then HCV RNA. The most sensitive indicator is HCV RNA by PCR. How the most sensitive? Uh, anti HCV can also help. So you have something similar to A, who anti HCV, but then you have similar to B, who the replication with E here is what we're looking for is HCV RNA. So RNA is the first detectable event, and then uh, BG. قبل قبل البداية السيمتومز اللي هو وارتفاع ال ALT levels in, in the blood. So it's a blood-borne agent, uh, anti-HCV for acute diagnosis, anti-HCV and anti-CVRNA for chronic diagnosis. Treatment, um, they want to uh, achieve uh, what they mean, what they uh, uh, termed as sustained virological response. Which is the absence of the RNA, absence of replications six months after treatment. This tells you that you have um, cleared uh, the virus. Uh, treatment can have been revolutionized recently, yeah, even within the uh, past few years. More medications are uh, coming into play. Um, the table uh, is, is a really good table. So if you look at the incubation period for A, in E, they're about 15 to 45 to 60 days. Uh, um, B uh, and D are the same, 30 to 80, because D is dependent, and C is in the middle between 15 and 160 uh, days. Age, as a hasa bil hada, children. E will be the same, but more for young adults. Uh, HPV and HCV, uh, any age, any age that will be in, in the risk groups, basically. So B kind of adults, sexual and percutaneous babies and toddlers and hacking is a kind of vertical. ACV on any age is more common with adults who are more likely to receive blood products or need sick injuries or so on. The transmission hacking of fecal oral in A and E, percutaneous in the B with D with C, sexual with B with D, C plus or minus. So clinical severity hacking A and E are mild. But you worry about the B, C, and D because they can be occasionally severe and progress to fulminant hepatitis. Carrier states are present in in all of these: the C, the D, uh, the B, the C, and the D. And obviously, A and E have a better prognosis. E is worse than A, but if 
for B and C and D, if the acute is good, if you can clear it, but if you get the chronic, it is worse with age and um, for prophylaxis, Hakina, A, there is a vaccine, uh, there is immunoglobulins, E as well, there's a vaccine, uh, C still has no vaccine, I th there is in, in, in uh, I think, in the pipeline. So far, Mafi, Hakina, B, Tati immunoglobulins for prophylaxis, if the one is or Tati vaccine, Kaman, Fi, HPV vaccine will be uh, the same for D. Hepatitis D is, is a defective virus, Hakina. So it requires the presence of a DNA virus, especially HPV, for it to replicate. Is a BG co-infected with HPV, it, it makes it worse. The prognosis will become worse. Um, they consist of the core delta antigen and a single-stranded RNA enclosed in an envelope by enveloped by HPV who will serve as antigen. So 5% of chronic HPV carriers have are infected with HPV. Uh, there's higher incidence of HPV infection in HPS antigen positive patients, whether it's acute or chronic. Uh, features range them they use HPV. Um, for me, disease that may relate to genotype 1 is more dominant in areas in the Western countries. So, um, uh, okay, HEV, um, so common cause of acute hepatitis in certain parts of Asia, again. Um, <coughs> so, epidemiology is similar to HEV. Uh, it's waterborne, uh, contaminated water, the same. Um, uh, for uh, for clinical features, again, this is the, the same as HIV, but so on. The initial prognosis is good, is good, not excellent. Let they're more common for in, in, in third trimester pregnancy and older men, and carries a high mortality in in these cases for permanent hepatitis in only permanent hepatitis. For them, high HIV is a worse prognosis than A, even though it follows the same a lot of, of the um, uh, patterns of HIV. And serology, anti-HEV, IgM, can be detected in 90% of cases within four weeks. PCR uh, can be detected by uh, real-time PCR in blood and stool because the volume is very is short. Uh, treatment, again, supportive, transplant for, for failure, reduction in immunosuppressed, they can chronically help, help or chronically infected patients. Um, Tamam. So, diagnosis of Shakira Amel viral hepatitis. This is these are these slides. The remaining slides are sort of uh, just a refresher, just to um, refresh your memory. And acute viral hepatitis. This is a good one from Oxford. Tamal anti HIV, IgM. Tamal service antigen del B. Tamal el antibody for anti HCV. And you can go through the flow chart. If the HIV IgM positive had خلاص acute HIV. If كان طلع negative. You can consider other cause. Service antigen is a can positive, but the can anti core. If the can IgM positive, this is acute. If the can negative, they can look other causes. This is for acute. So, I'm not going to talk about IgM anti core. Or HCV antibody negative, but the can RNA is acute. If it's negative, it's for other causes. If it's positive, this is acute HCV. For chronic hepatitis, um, we have mentioned most of these in, in, the, in the slides uh, and please send me any um, questions by email, I'll be happy to um, answer.